You don't have to talk. I'm trying to help. I'm trying to help. My name's the Doctor. My name's the Doctor. Leslie has got a lot of words. She's got to repeat everybody's. She's got, I think she's got the hardest job. People look at me and say, you're having a bit of a nightmare today. And I think Leslie's got the hardest job of the lot. Just look at her, Professor. She's changed. She's different. She's something else. What we're filming at the moment is a 40-page scene. And to remember that in one big go for everybody's dialogue is, is a, quite a hefty thing to do. And so we put an autocue system behind every actor that she's speaking to or what she's having to repeat, and then that literally scripts the lines of what she's got to say. Action, Liz. And Lindsay? Stop talking. Do you hear? Stop talking. Action, Liz. Stop talking. Do you hear? Stop talking. I'm standing behind a monitor, so basically my head, <laughs> which I've never been a monitor before, is a monitor, and when I do my first little section, she then repeats so she gets the same intonation, the same rhythm and pattern. Okay. Biff, don't just stand there, do something! Biff, don't just stand there, do something! Make her stop! Make her stop! Great. Like that. Great. There's no room for error because you have to say exactly what someone else is saying. You can't, you know, you can't sort of make any slip-ups, put a, put a the in at the top of a line or an and where it shouldn't be. You know, it has to be absolutely precise. And doing that all on your own, I think it probably would have driven me mad. Just hearing someone repeating your lines after you've done it, you've got to kind of re sort of remove your ego because Leslie's doing it in such a way that she's really becoming all, all the characters that are on, on the ship. Hush now, hush. hush. <laughs> she's doing it to me. Just stop it, all, all of you, you, stop it, please. I think if you start listening to her too much, <laughs> it'll, it'll really put you off, but it's it's very, very hard because we're, we're sort of playing the scene and she's echoing it. The most difficult sequences to shoot were the ones where I had to be absolutely in sync with David. Sky. Is it sky? sky? That was wrong, wasn't it? So are you. Yeah. We had to open our mouths simultaneously. That's the point. That's the story. Action. Now no, then, Sky. sky. Are, are you Sky? sky? Is Sky still in there, Mrs. Silvestri? So we just had to sort of get together and do it again and again and again and again and again, and again for ourselves before the camera was turned on. Russell rather kindly uh, gave us the square root of pi to learn to 30 decimal places. For someone who scraped through their maths higher, you just start about learning it, of course. That's the first obstacle to get over. 79816748334111. Wow. Goes out, wow. <laughs> <laughs> it's great to open a script and go, OK, I'm going to have to learn the square root of pi. Well, here we go. The square root of pi is 1.7724538509. The square root of pi is 1.7724538509055160272981674833341 and so on. So I can, but but the thing is on recall, I can get it at a certain speed, but David and I had to do it like that. And I had to really, really kind of keep going through it in my head to make it come out quickly. Sorry. <laughs> when you get people talking at the same time, um, overlapping each other, it's very difficult to edit. So the sound people who are brilliant, Julian is absolutely with his team, have to take everyone's um, speech separately. So you would do a take all together, overlapping, <laughs> people coming in and out. And then he would say, no, right, now we're going to do Lindsay. And so she would be the only one to speak. I want him out! Get him out! Throw him out! Get him out! Throw him out! It can feel a bit odd, but you you know, the miming is, is... I think now we've been doing it for a couple of days, we're starting to get into how the shape of, of the technicalities of how we film this, but I think we're all finding it a real challenge. It's got to be a trick. Doctor, did you plan that with her? I'm telling you whatever your name is, if you don't shut up, so help me out. It's an order. I'm ordering you. Do you hear me? Stop repeating. It's, that's an order. I'm ordering you. Make her stop. Just stop it. You're scaring my wife. I'm telling you to stop. That's impossible. That's physically impossible. That's not the same woman. That's something else inside her. Just look at her, Professor. She's changed. We had to quite painstakingly go around and, and 
shoot everybody's dialogue so that we had that clean. Um, so that when it's all edited together, then they can overlap, and and you've got some options in the edit, so that you know if you if you want to move them slight, if you want that interruption to move slightly later, whereas if you recorded all the dialogue with everybody speaking at once, then you're locked into that forever. The, the actual in sync dialogue is such a major part of this episode. It's the psychological thing, getting that to be perfectly in sync. I mean, the actors did a fantastic job on set but it's not going to be perfect. They can't do it, physically can't do it. It was very important that we actually, on set, that they mimed a lot, um, so that I had the flexibility and capability of loading their singles in and Chineseing them, that's what they're called, uh, where you put another take into another take's mouth. So, um, for instance now, this is Sky's um, angle, doing her A, B, C, D, E, F, G. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O. Of course, David was miming there. But then I actually found another take of David going A, B, C, D, clean of him, not with Leslie over the top of it. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O. And fitted it in sync with Leslie. So both of them together now should sound as one. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O. Which is great. So that works a treat. <laughs>